Welcome back. Well, one of your child's favorite parts of the day is likely lunch, but packing it can be the thing that you least look forward to. Kate Wirt, professional organizer and owner of Moxie Life Organizing LLC, is here with some helpful tips to make the process a little smoother. Good morning to you. Good morning and welcome back to school. Thank you so what much. It's going, going great so far. So when it comes to packing the perfect lunch, where do parents get so stuck? Well, and that's you, you nailed it on the head. So that's the thing is like, there's no such thing as a perfect lunch. So I tell parents, you know, we get caught in this Pinterest trap or we've got to cut things into different shapes or stick notes in. Really, we want to make sure that they're fed, you know, that they're getting, you know, really keeping it simple. So that's something is that, you know, look at like a carb, a protein, fruit or veggie, and then a treat. Um, so again, like, Again, I try to give them choices as well. So that's really important is but not too many choices. So I don't know about you, but I got caught in that Pinterest trap where you see all the beautiful photos, but um, you know, really keeping it simple for the, for the week. So it sounds like we really need to streamline this whole process. How can we do that? Well, and there's a few things that you can do in the house, but also, you know, you can get your kids involved and that's really important. So one thing I recommend is mornings are always chaotic. I know in our house, at least, you know, and we're scrambling, doing all the things, the constant reminders. So, you know, consider packing lunches at night, putting them in the fridge and getting your kids involved with that. Also, when they come home from school, you know, start to set up some rituals where, you know, they take some personal responsibility and they take care of their, you know, cleaning up their, their lunches from the day before, cleaning up their water bottles or their canteen. So those are some different things. Another thing I realize is that, you know, we really zoning out a pantry space or someplace in your cupboards or if you have drawers, whatever you're using, like an actual school lunch station. So something that's easily accessible for kids that they know. And I've even like, you know, this is the designated lunch zone, something they can easily access. And there's also, you know, different products that you can use. And I was going to show you a few of those. I was going to say, yeah, you are a home organizer, so people are kind of like, okay, where does this organization part of everything come into line? But I think once they see some of the products you're going to offer, this is really going to set off a light bulb in their head. So, yeah, show us some of those products. Yeah, absolutely. So you don't want things all flapping around in your pantry. So, you know, baskets work great. And, you know, this is a little basket, a small family. We've got a family of two, so it's not you know, that's manageable. If you've got like the Costco size family, you know, that's something where you might want to look at different kind of baskets, something that's stackable. And these are great. These are from Container Store. They stack easily. You can put them in the pantry, um, you know, separately, or you can stack them underneath. And something, again, that they can easily reach and get to. Of course, you know, we like labeling. So I did some have some here with that, you know, let them know, again, this is our lunch station, you know, our snack station. So again, containerizing items. I've also gotten really into, you know, um, some of the pre -prep, prep. So again, prepping the night before and getting things in the baggies. And they've got so many different eco-friendly options now. And here are some of these. These are reusable Ziploc bags, which are super cool. And they're dishwasher safe. And that's something really important. Another piece is, and this is a baby bento box, but I love these. And I know we were showing, snapping some photos of those. But you can, you can separate out, and this really helps with some of that portion control. Again, uh, dishwasher safe, you know, so always, <laughs> anything that doesn't make, can't go in the dishwasher, I don't really want anything to do with it. So there is a lot of different products, but again, I don't, parents feel all this pressure, and I want you to know, like, hot lunch is a thing, too. And having two to three meals a week, you know, that's fine, you know, during lunch, it's, you know, we don't have to have these elaborate things. We've got to get through the day and give them the nourishment they need to do well in school. Right, and people need to realize, too, when that pressure is on sometimes, too, we get the free lunches now here in the state of Michigan. So if there comes a day where maybe you are just falling behind, it's not going to hurt your child to one day to maybe eat the, the hot lunch or get the cold lunch option. That's at school for everybody, too, right? Exactly, and I know that, like, some families, you know, they have dietary restrictions, and, you know, of course that plays a role. But, you know, hot lunch, is, it's always an option. And I know I was when I was talking to you earlier, I was like, I'll own it that my kid had hot lunch all week long, <laughs> you know, and that's totally fine. You've got two more meals in the days. You have snacks. So if you're missing things throughout the day when they're at school, you can always supplement later in the evening. And when it comes to the extra cost for a lot of these things you just showed, I know a lot of those things are offered up at local dollar stores, too. Some of them are, you know, these were like Amazon, but Target, you know, um, Bed Bath & Beyond has some of those great bins. And again, you know, another thing I tell families, if, you know, again, it's easy to fall into the Pinterest trap when you're when you're looking at containers or bins. You know, one thing I always recommend is making things more accessible for the kids. So, you know, as simple as taking the tops off of boxes when you buy items, 
you know, in using that. So if you're doing like a bunch of chips or something, you know, tear off the lid, tear off the lid so they can easily get in there. And it's a little bit easier to keep inventory that way. All right. Love it. All right. Kate is full of ideas all across the board when it comes to every room in your home, all sorts of different situations in your life. So thank you so much for your time this morning. We're going to be following you throughout the year with it and picking your brain for some more tips. That's for sure. Wonderful. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Kate. And for more information, go to MoxieLifeOrganizing.com. The number to call her 616-777-7347. We could do a whole series on my own home. But for now, we'll go ahead and keep helping out all of you guys. Hey, coming up on The Morning Mix, a rare manual for an Apple II computer. A manual, you guys, signed by co-founder Steve Jobs in 1980, sold at auction for top dollar. How much it went for in entertainment.